Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages. Coaster Chow here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park news from update. Where today we're going to be analysing SeaWorld San Antonio's brand new attraction for 2022. This is Tidal Surge, a record breaking scream and swing opening at the theme park. Now, before we get started speaking about this, make sure you like the video if you loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe if you are new around here, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Go and check out the other videos uh, that we uh, put up, including an update on inversion, which I had to. I had to put it on the system the day before the upload because obviously I was working yesterday so uh, obviously uh, Mondays, Thursdays and Sundays expect some uh, premieres, expect a premiere video uh, because uh, obviously I'll be working that day and I don't think I'll be uploading on those days so um, any new stuff anyway so if anything gets announced I'll probably do it either the evening or I'll probably do it on the next day. And for now guys, let's have a look at exactly what's going on with Tidal Surge at SeaWorld San Antonio. So for those of you who need some stats on this ride, this is the world's tallest and fastest scream and spring. It's a massive record breaking thrill ride for SeaWorld San Antonio. We have a max height of 105 feet static structure height, 135 feet dynamic swing height, a max speed of 68 miles per hour during a 1 minute 20 second, aka 110 second ride cycle. Uh, we have two 20 seats per boom arm gondola boom arms capacity. Uh, 40 passengers per train, uh, 48 inches minimum rider height requirement, manufactured by SNS, and 230 degrees of rotation per boom arm. Now the logo itself looks amazing. You can see the nice wave there. It's got like the color scheme, the, the, the sort of light blue and black and things like that. It kind of gives me vibes of like a Charlotte Hornets NBA color scheme, like with the light blue, which I kind of like. And I like the sort of different shades of blue further down the lettering on Tidal Search. So very good creativity there by the park. Overall, I think this ride is going to be giving my signal of approval, my official fan dabby dozy signal of approval. There we are ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, that is speaking about Tidal Surge at SeaWorld San Antonio. From the concept art, it looks absolutely incredible, I really am looking forward to this ride. Uh, like I said, the logo looks brilliant, the wave design, how it just sort of curls over, it's absolutely fantastic um the concept images like i said it looked brilliant the color scheme of the ride itself with like the the coral kind of uh booming color scheme this sort of um booming sort of design of it as well i think it looks absolutely amazing and the fact that it's a record breaker as well i think it's gonna be a wonderful addition to the park so uh, obviously the rumor was a screaming swing and a power splash will the power splash happen at the same time i don't know uh but it should be interesting but, I love the look of Tidal Surge, I think it'll be a wonderful addition to the park and a wonderful flat ride to the park's flat ride lineup. So, there we are guys, thank you very very much for watching this short but still detailed review and analysis of Tidal Surge at SeaWorld San Antonio. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and for now, my name is Coast Chow, keep living the coast of life and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon. Take care guys, have a Tidal-tastic day. You see what we did there? your head back. Hold on tight. You must escape.